Well guys, USPS has done it. They finally announced that they're gonna conquer the world. Actually, I'm just joking. This is far worse. In order to fulfill their investment and income goals for the Delivering for America plan that USPS forced upon the throats of the American people, USPS went ahead and announced the okay on their next set of increases on your first class letter mail. It's going up five cents so they can make more money so they can deliver on their delivering for america plan this is the highest rate according to my studies the highest rates of increase for 15 years and maybe even longer guys yeah as you guys can see here i went to wikipedia and pulled up all the price hike changes in the past history of the usps and as you can see this five cent increase was historical for the past 10 years besides right here 2018 and 2019 but besides that we don't see a five cent increase at all all the way down the whole chain completely you never ever see it again besides 2018 you never see a five cent increase and that's what i mean by the greatest hike increase in five or 15 or maybe 25 years even besides as we can see here in 2018, the five cent increase, which was huge and was sustainable. I don't think this next one is going to last that long. This is also the sixth increase in three years of price hiking. And I'm going to tell you why this is all bad news. Because according to their Delivering for America plan... They're supposed to be operating at a net positive for the fiscal year of 2023. Let's go look at their financials really quickly. And we will notice that they were operating at a net negative. They lost money. Their investments and income did not rise up to their expenses for the fiscal year of 2023. Which explains the insane rate of hike increase for this July increase of pricing what it's the highest rate hike that i've seen in my study because the delivering for america plan is not working so historically how is usps going to raise prices so they can meet their expectations and the projections that they've set forwards upon themselves well they're gonna go ahead and raise the prices even harder and this is what they're gonna do and that's what i'm proving to you they're doing that's what they're doing in july is the highest rate hike that we've seen in 15 maybe 20 maybe 30 years honestly if i studied the data intensely enough and uh, nothing can explain this except that and i'm going to tell you now why this is going to affect you why is this bad specifically for you as a bulk seller or a tcg player seller or a seller that sells stuff in the white envelopes using facebook groups or sometimes ebay this is extremely bad because you cannot purchase and sell bulk anymore if they are increasing in july of 2024 their highest pricing increase the rate of it was the highest in 2024 imagine what's coming in 2025 that means the prices are not going to add up let me show you how hard it's going to be to sell bulk guys so right now it's going to be 73 cents for every single stamp okay so let's say you're selling cards for one stamp right let's say you're selling maybe i'll give it to you let's say you're selling two of this tw 10 cent card i'll give it to you guys i'll give it to you this is the great scenario you're selling two not only one you're selling two of this 10 cent card now let's add to it shipping so the shipping is going to be a dollar 22 which is great yay thank god for that so it's a total of dollar 42 now let's multiply it to that 18 cents or 18%, which is what TCG player is going to take. That's going to give us 2.25. So it's going to take a quarter immediately. So you lose a quarter of the dollar 42 to TCG player. So you're losing 25 cents to the TCG player. So dollar 42 minus 25. 
is one dollar and sixteen cents right okay that's great so you're still making a profit right but you still haven't shipped the item you still haven't or sorry you haven't bought the stamp you haven't bought the envelope at five cents an envelope you haven't paid for the actual paper and the print and the actual cover and the shield and everything you need to pay so that's another 15 cents right there and the team bag and all of that together let's know we didn't even add the team bag yet so right now you're left with 23 cents so if you sell two cards you have 23 cents profit left over that's <laughs> let alone maybe you you bought the card for five cents <laughs> i didn't even add that but let's say you bought it in a big bulk lot and you locked in 23 cents and there's a lot more Let, let's let's just keep it at that those are the fees right now one guy asks for a refund or says he did not deliver immediately you're at a loss immediately immediately because first of all it's a white envelope you cannot do anything about it you cannot track it and therefore because that white envelope it's not a shipped item it's not a big high ticket item it's not a bigger item that you actually needed to track now you're stuck in the hole and you cannot no insurance no one's paying you you're literally immediate yeah let's say you made 20 cents that's great you're gonna make 20 cents every sale that's not gonna make you any profit ever you literally spent more time let let's say you didn't even ship and you have any shipping problems you spent more time to package this then it was worth the 20 cents in my opinion honestly and to sort the cars and to post them i'm telling you it's not feasible and let's we haven't even added there's two times that they're going to increase the prices in 2025. Imagine goes up to 80 cents. Now your margin is what, 10 cents? And one item returned back. Basically, you lose your profit on what, 10 orders, 15 orders. This is unfeasible, guys. That's all I wanted to show you. So this means that bulk is dead. Honestly, guys, this is from my heart. I'm so sorry to say this. I know you want to just hold on to millions of cards and just build up your inventory to hit the millionth mark but i'm telling you guys bulk is absolutely dead instead what you need to be doing is just tweak do the exact same thing just tweak it a little bit now that you know that shipping with a white envelope is just not going to be profitable with 10 cent cards try to hit collections try to attack and uh, capture and buy nice big collection lots and start buying lots of things shiny lots rare lots don't buy bulk anymore just focus on buying lots that's all i really wanted to say in this video i think this is going to be helpful to a lot of my tcg player sellers out there if you guys got any value from this video please go ahead and like this video subscribe to me i'm going to drop a lot of money and advice and uh, my experience basically in selling online out here and if you guys have any questions leave it down below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all next time